Hey guys, this Little Magic here and it's time for another Overlooked But Awesome card and I am super amped about this one because you guys know one of my favorite cards of all time is Godsend. That's a big ol' three cost exiling super sword, one of the most powerful artifact equipments ever printed. I love equipment, I love swords, hell I like using swords in real life. Somebody ships me a package in the mail, hell I'm getting my sword out. What else do I like other than swords? Board wipes. I'm sure some of you already know where this is going. Now it's no secret that there are only so many ways to wipe the board. I mean, you got your Wrath of God, that's pretty much your baseline board wipe. Then you got, oh, you got Awaken, or you've got one where you save one of your creatures, like Dune Blast. They keep coming up with more unusual, obscure ways to wipe the board, but most of them cost more, so they're kind of pointless. They certainly serve a purpose in standard, though, so, you know, I gotta mention that. But what if some sick, sick little monkey decided to mix a sword with a board wipe and make a sword wipe? I present to you Excalibur. Just kidding, it's World Slayer. This seemingly suicidal and unbelievably stupid sword came straight out of M12. I'm actually surprised it wasn't M13. Okay, okay, it was also printed in Mirrodin. So this is a 5 cost sword because, I mean, come on, it's practically a lightsaber, just look at it. Uh, and it has an equip cost of 5. So you might just be giving your opponent a little bit of warning. It states that whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy all permanents other than World Slayer. Now, I might need to remind some of you that lands are permanents. So yeah, equip this sword, swing at your opponent, and blow everything straight to hell, including the uh, creature, which by the way, that actually is the only ruling. It states, and I quote, the equipped creature is also destroyed. Yes, I think we kind of got that. I do like absolute clarity though, thanks guys. Don't worry though, I've already cracked this nut. This is actually going to be kind of repetitive if you've seen the rest of this series because, well, this is just how you deal with this situation. Well, one, indestructible creatures, obviously. Two, flicker one or more creatures uh, because this is like a triggered ability, so it goes on the stack and then on top of the triggered ability, you know, flicker the creature carrying World Slayer. With no lands left in the game, I mean, you really could leave a 1-1 one, one there. Uh, the sword doesn't give it any kind of boost. Who cares? Don't even re-equip the sword. Who gives a crap? In fact, honestly, thinking about it now, I really wouldn't re-equip the sword. But your opponents have to start all over and you've got a creature on the field. Ta-da, swing away. You know, you could just put selfless spirit out there. Self-destruct, make everything indestructible. Your line is there, theirs isn't. And guess what? Nobody has any lands anymore. You could bounce a whole bunch of stuff back to hand, then swing with World Slayer. I mean, I don't know, there's all kinds of weird stuff you could do, really. I mean, think about it for just a couple seconds, there's all kinds of ways to play around this. One thing is certain, though, I need this in a deck. Now, obviously it's old enough it would have to be modern, but um, if there's one thing I know about artifacts, it's that they are the cheatiest piles of crap in the game. You can free cast them, you can drop them out from the graveyard, you can reduce their casting cost, you can equip them for free. I mean, they're like perpetually on sale. You never really have to pay full price for an artifact. Kinda dislike Worldfire. I do like Armageddon though. Um, Bearer of the Heavens, I mean, that's classic. I mean, he might be tied with World Slayer, but now this one is definitely on my radar for just burn it all to the ground cards. You pull this out in Multiplayer Commander, and you are going to have some people coming after you. You can blow up my creatures, you can blow up my general, but you blow up my lands, and I am going to flip that table so quick you won't even know what hit you. Oh, and there's one more thing about this sword that you definitely cannot overlook, and that's the flavor text. You know, really powerful cards always have really funny flavor text. Well, that and goblin cards. This one states, if that is what you seek, try looking in craters from Fodris Mastersmith. I don't even get the reference, I don't know the storyline, I don't know anything about Mirrodin, but that sounds really cool. I like it, and I hope that fortune cookie crap is written on the blade. Well, that or peace was never an option. I'll see you guys next video.